All right. I'm going to be showing you one of my newest signs tonight. This one says, well, let's put it this way. I can personalize it for anybody. This one says, welcome to the land greed pad. Now I can, the new one, I have the welcome up here so I can get this a little bigger, but I can personalize it to anyone's name. My computer um, decided this weekend to delete all my sign files. So I spent the weekend going back recreating every sign I had made since the beginning of January. So it wasn't a very good weekend. <laughs> it was rotten. <laughs> so, so anyhow, what I have here, I have 21 inch mesh. This mesh is from Sims. It's a poly mesh. It's 21 inches. See how it has that little green kind of splash through it? Glittery splash. I thought that would go really good with the sign. Then we have this, which is, it's called an iridescent foil mesh. Hello. Hi, Mama. Hi, Donna. All right, so we're going to, use these two and I have more new signs to show you this is a 14 inch actually 15 inch wreath base I already went and started it um, I'm just doing 10 inch to 11 inch poofs I figured you guys all know how to do this section I didn't think I needed to repeat it, but you're just measuring out the 10 inches and then fluffing out each poof. And I'm using my um, board, cutting board here to measure from. Where's everybody watching from? I know Esther's in Canada. How's the weather in your neck of the woods? It was just horrible here a little while ago. I had to take all my Easter decorations from outside the door and bring them in because they were just getting ready to take off on their own in flight. <laughs> So again, this is 10 to 11 inches, kind of in between. I'm going to trim this, and I'm going to tuck it in under to make it disappear. There we go. Now I have this one and this one. Kind of wait till this section is ready because I can grab and zip tie when I'm through. I know there's zip ties around here somewhere. Yeah, they are. Oh, we had some rain and some wind and some a little bit of everything. crazy weather. Just securing these loose ends underneath. Stay firm. 
worm in the middle. Everybody have a nice Easter. Looks like Esther had a nice Easter meal. I had scrambled eggs. It was just my husband and I. It's first time on a holiday that I didn't cook for my boys. They were home with their families because of this situation we have. I will save one of those for the bed. before I trip on it. There we go. Alright, so we've got that. Now we're going to do, I think they're called cruffles. We're going to put these in. Now the reason I did this instead of a woodland ruffle, I wanted some of this mesh to show through, but I still wanted to be able to disguise the reef base. So that was my reasoning for choosing this method. This is 10 inch mesh, the lavender. It just makes like a little curly cue. So I'm just gonna start by rolling on one end a little bit. And rolling in, let me kind of move this around so you can see what I'm doing. And if you can't, I can zoom in some. See, I'm just using that to disguise like this space right here. He's on. Where you been? He's ready to call you today and say, where are you? Busy taking care of Harless. And your mom and dad, I'm sure. Got that in right? Yeah. Thank you for spreading. I really appreciate it. You guys all noticed how slow mail and shipping is right now? I've had orders that were supposed to be here days ago and they still haven't arrived. terrible and I sold out of signs and I'm waiting for the, I've got 12 orders I'm sitting on up there waiting for those blanks to come in so I can fill the orders so I am freaking out the gentleman did a great job of kicking them out right away and getting them out to me but they're still in transit So, I guess I just have to wait. And y'all say a little prayer for my mother-in-law. She's been in a um, assisted living and she got coronavirus. 
so if you could all say a little prayer for her tonight, I'd really appreciate it. She's in her 90s, so we are just hoping that she pulls through. We haven't been allowed in. No one has been, but I guess somebody had to bring it in. So, we're just hoping for a positive outcome. Go, Levon. Thank you. I don't know if you got a chance to see me last Monday night, but I went on Hardworking Mom's YouTube page. I did a wreath and uh, between that and Carl's live over the weekend doing my last weekend doing my um, ladybug wreath my Etsy store exploded and I forgot to put a link in here to it but if you all just go to my the front page here on, on Robin's Three Three, there is a shop now button. And if you hit that it'll take you right there. Hi teen. Miss ya. Was gonna call you and ask you what you're up to. Your girl is pregnant. Hi, Marty. These, Renee, these were cut at um, 20 inches. The um, ruffle on the base is 21 inch mesh, and I did that like between 11 and 10 inches. And these cruffles, I did at um, 20. I chose these colors because I thought they'd go really well with my new sign. And this sign can be personalized. Welcome, Minnie. Or Minnie, sorry. Yep. See, I have on there, welcome to the Land Greed pad. So if anybody's interested in this sign, I can personalize it. I've started putting the welcome up here and then the rest of it down here. It gives more room for the lettering. I feel it's a better, better choice. Yes. I lost all my signs this weekend. <laughs> I was cleaning up a file and I dumped the original um, zip folders wiped out everything. I lost all my sign files, so I had to recreate all of them all over again from all the ones I've made since January. Yep. So, lucky me. I had fun. <laughs> and a lot of the designs I've either gotten here or there or found them here or there and had to go find them all over again. But look, look what's coming next. I'm waiting on the pieces to put this together. I have a new gnome coming out, my patriotic gnome. So I'm still waiting on some fabric for that. Yep. Yeah. 
And then I, I sold out of signs, so I'm totally out of blanks. They were supposed to be here today. They did not arrive. The inserts, the metal in, nose inserts for my masks that I'm making, that was supposed to come in Friday. Still nothing. So, mail service lately has not been favorable to my needs. So, yep. I broke my little hole punch bead thingy. That order didn't come in. So, yeah. I've just been having a blast. Got to spend 15 minutes with my grandson outside watching him on the inside from their front porch yesterday. That has been the only interaction I've had with my new grandson for a month now. Not liking it. Actually, I'm hating it. I want to squeeze those cheeks. So, yeah. Trying to stay positive, but it's getting harder. So, I'm just going to keep trying to get somewhere. I missed y'all last week. Well, I think some of you were on the, the live on Lori's page, but it feels like I haven't been on here in a while, and I have. Is everybody's Easter quiet? I know. I needed a Levon pick me up today. <laughs> and then I just got busy creating more signs. In fact, I sent you one Saturday. See if it's in your messages. I need your opinion on it. my artiste thank you Ann. I know right I just love I just love the lavender it has like a little pink and bluish tint to it, it really pops I think it's going to make that sign pop really good too but I, I didn't want to cover up the bottom part because I wanted some of that green poking through. So, so there's our base so far. I'm loving it. And this is our sign, which I may go in the middle with this and I may have to hold it in place because I broke my hole punch I can't find my E6000 glue, so I am batting a thousand here. All right, let's put our tails on. 
I chose this lavender. Thought that would look pretty. And this pink. Because when I, I made this sign, I put these little pink flowers in here. I was not, not able to locate the pink flowers anywhere. So now they have little lilies with lily pads. There's three of them on the new sign. So we've got these two colors going in there. And I love, look at that blue with those flowers. They just look so good with that sign. Okay. So we're going to start by putting the... Okay. I hear you. That's why I almost called you because I'm like, geez, where is she? Of course, I ordered cattails and they didn't come in. So I did find some in the house that I can use. But I'm not going to cut them because <laughs> they, I took them out of an arrangement. So I need to put them back. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Oh my gosh, this is going to look so good. I'm loving these colors. Hi, Missy. Welcome. We're doing a frog wreath with my new sign that can be personalized with your name. And this was the sign I made before I lost all my files. There you go. So the new sign has the welcome up here and then to the tailor pad <laughs> or whoever. Um, it also has lilies around. Got a little dragonfly here with some cattails and some daisies. Everybody have a good Easter. We did the poofs at between 10 and 11 inches. 21 inch mess mesh on the base. Then the top was cut at 20 inches and it was 10 inch mesh. It was iridescent foil mesh and the bottom was a poly mesh. How's that looking so far? I think most of the ribbon came from Sims. I know they carried it craft outlet, but good luck getting anything from there. They're closed. Yep, all my sign files from the beginning of January till now. <laughs> yep. Had to go back and recreate everything. So, yeah. Because I contacted my computer guy and he said, Well, we've never retrieved files from a, a Mac before. Hi, Sue. So, yeah. And I sold out of all the ones I had to make, I sold out. I am sitting on 14 orders right now, and I'm waiting on the blanks to come in. They were supposed to arrive today. They didn't. So, let's hope we get them soon. 
or I'm going to have an angry mob. And here's, I showed this earlier, here's my new gnome. So as soon as this part comes in, I'll start making some of those and we'll do it on a live. Needless to say, I went out and ordered a flash drive today that I was able to pick up from the curb at Best Buy because that's where all my files are going to go now so that doesn't happen again. Yep, I will, Nancy. It's going to look as close to that as possible. Sue already helped me design the um, stripes because I print all my own gnome fabric. It's all hand printed by me. So she helped me with the stripes. I'm waiting for this part to come in. I already have this. I already have this. So as soon as it all arrives, um, I will be back in business. Oh no. Oh, Sue. Sue, get some brandy. That's what I did. <laughs> I told Levon the one I, I gotta have a drink, get some sleep. Try some brandy, hon. Aw, thanks, Nancy. I can't wait either. <laughs> I have family waiting on masks, and I'm supposed to be in on Friday, the little metal piece for the nose part of the mask, and that didn't come in either. Hi, Nanny Dot. So, yeah. glad I ordered all the ribbon to go with my new signs before all this started because I would be still waiting. One company I contacted today, the other company I'm going to contact tomorrow. I don't, I don't want to give them a hard time, but at the same time, you know, for two weeks now, it says order in process. What does that mean? Should be shipped by now, not in process. And we understand they're going through a hard time too, but come on. It's not like I ordered a lot of stuff. <sighs> but Susan, <laughs> I stocked up. <laughs> There's only one brandy I like, apricot brandy, and I have two bottles of that. And I've probably had it all year. Well, longer than that since last year. So yeah. Hi Ty. Welcome. I have more signs to show you. Been a lot of requests for since I had a Yorkie Mom sign 
for a girl. I had a lot of requests for a Yorkie sign for a boy. So we just put that together. I had somebody lose their Lotsa Atsa. Is that how you pronounce it? So she wanted to sign with her little boy's name on there and the day he passed away. So I got that for her. She's picking that up along with my noom. Then these two are doing circles now. Freedom you all and stars and stripes forever. So there are the two new ones. I haven't listed them yet. They will be. Then this one says if 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 nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Dawn, for spreading the love. So we've got those two. Then this one says, let freedom ring. This is a new one. It's, um, I can get these blank now, the size of a license plate. So they, they're nice. And this one I'm not sure of. I like it, but I'm not sure. It says, all things grow with love. What's your thoughts on that one? Susan, what's your thoughts on that one? I need feedback. Professional feedback. <laughs> and there's a few more I'm working on, but... That's what I did today because I have plenty of circles. I just got, I sold out of the squares and I sold out of the um, ovals. So hopefully they'll be in by tomorrow. Willie, where did you go? I was on there and you disappeared. Willie was on a live and all of a sudden she wasn't there anymore. Were you able to get back on? Oh, thanks, Missy. Yeah, I, I thought that was really just simple. But I'm, I'm not sure if it's too squishy. So, I think there's a bunch that I that myself I'm not satisfied with so I may just post them on my page one of a kind I think I have to go with a different size Missy like I think it's just too narrow I think if I went with the wider, did you come back? I, I didn't see. Connie, welcome. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. Got one more. And for some reason, this guy didn't get dovetailed. I know, right? I'm using the personalized frog. You can have your name personalized on it. Your family's name. Yeah, I, I think it's just too squished. I mean, it's still, it's still a beautiful sign, but I, I'm just not 100% on it. And I tried several different backgrounds, but the problem is you have all those colors in the sign, so you have to use a different colored background for it to really pop. 
and I couldn't find one that I liked. So I think square with the with the checks around the side. I have this in square too, so um, I don't know. And I kind of like this one. I like how that turned out. This one I was, if nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. It looked better without. You'll have to send me a picture of that ribbon. Is it, let me see. Like, is it somewhat like this, where that has the ladybugs on it? Is that what you're talking? Like it's that with the checks and with the flowers? Or like the checks and the lemons? Yes, I know. All right, and like I said, my punch did not come in, so I can't punch my sign. <sighs> can't find my glue, so I can't glue it. So we're gonna pretend it's adhered there. We'll make our bow now. And then um, we're going to add some cattails. And I kind of like these because I think they kind of go with the sign. So I'm either going to use those or I'm going to use, I'm going to use those because the daisies are nice, but they're just too, um, they're just too light. I want it to pop. So I like these. And like I said, the new sign will have lilies, lily pads on it. And my cattails did not come in, so I had to borrow some from, um, one of my arrangements in the house. So these will not get cut because they're going back in the arrangement. <clears throat> because hopefully my cattails will arrive this week or I am done with ordering from these people. So you're going to have to pretend it's stuck there. <laughs> the red will, but I like the pink because I've got the pink ribbon on here. So, and we've got the pink flowers on that ribbon. So just not sure where I'm going to put it yet. And these are a little length, length, they're a little lengthy, but like I said, I have some coming in and they haven't come in yet. So visually I wanted to be able to show you <clears throat> the cattails on here. So we're going to pretend that I cut them. A lot of pretending going on tonight because things just aren't showing up when they're supposed to be here. So let's make our bow. Alright. I think we're going to use the green as the base. Okay. 
appreciate it, Sue. He, he was awesome. He got the, he got it out right away for me because he knew how stuck I was because after I did um, Lori's, on Lori's YouTube channel, my Etsy site just exploded and I got wiped out. So I had no more blanks left. So Jim was awesome. He got the order out right away. It's just, there's a lot of um, people in the postal service that know they're at risk and they're staying home. So, in staying home, mail is not getting delivered as quickly as it would if they had a full staff. I'm not downing the Postal Service. I'm just saying that's, I mean, I had, I had a, a custom flag to do for one of my customers. I think Jessica's in Michigan and I shipped it out to her and if it has a label, they're supposed to scan it. Well, they didn't scan it because it was first class, even though it had a label. So in her eyes, it was still sitting at my house. So she panicked. And I said, all right, let's give it one more day. I called the post office. They didn't, it, cause we took it to the post office. And um, I said, make sure it's not stuck behind that bin at where the chute is. And they looked, it wasn't there. So, they knew it should have been scanned, but I think there are certain items that they're not scanning now because they're so overwhelmed. So, but anyhow, it took, it should have taken three to five days. It took eight days to get to her. So, there's a lot jamming up the works. And then, of course, you have companies that, you guys see this okay? Hey, West Virginia. I want to end with that. I want that to be my pop. So you see, that's what's going on. You have companies that don't have enough employees because of the crisis. And then you have people that aren't at work because their fear, which puts a lot of stress on the ones that are doing all the work. That's so sweet of you, Connie. I'm waiting on the metal nose bridges to come in so I can finish mine. So I think I'm going to end this with three loops for this part. So true. Well, I... I'm gonna make a little center loop here. I did save a yippee tie, but I'm not sure where it is now.
all things. Well, I had it in mind when I designed the sign. That's what's so nice about designing your own signs. You got a ribbon you love, you can make something to go with it. Yes, they are our heroes. As, as I said at the beginning, say a little prayer for my mother-in-law because she's in an assisted living um, home and they had to put her on the third floor. She has it now. And she's in her 90s. not been able to see her we've been well we live far away but nobody can go in except the people that work there so I guess somebody shared it hey Jonathan hi Janet I know so far she's tested positive she does not have the fever yet but she has no appetite. So we're just hoping she can fight it. She has a lot of children and a lot of grandchildren and some great grandchildren and everybody's concerned. All right. So like I said, 10 of the signs right there. <laughs> uh, or let me fluff this out and then we'll see where we want to put it. Thank you. She's a lovely lady. Thank you, Jonathan. All right. As I was saying, my cocktails did not come in, so I stole those from an arrangement I had upstairs. <laughs> 
So I don't want to cut them because they're going to go back there. Let's see. Just going to put some pink around here a little bit. Might even add some purple. Go two pinks there, one pink up here, and then let's see. I don't know. <laughs> I think I like these. I'm not sure if I have three. I do have three. Yay! These are just little Laban pit berries. <laughs> nope. Not liking those. Alright. We're going to add. We're going to add some of this because I'm not liking the daisies either on here. There is daisies in his hand, but I'm not, I'm not liking. So I think we'll do one, two, three. We'll put this right there when I get my cutters or hole punch thingy. And then all along the bottom, let me just get pink what pink will look like with it too. I think I'm going to do pink and purple along the bottom. See you later. I'll turn this around so you can kind of gaze upon it. Gotta find the end. We should cut these about a yard. Usually I do my loops and I measure it that way. Now, I'll put the purple in with the green. I'm just putting the, the um, tubing on the lower level. Give it some pop. And not liking the purple and the green. I'm going to put it on the pink and lavender. Love you too. There. That works. guys have an idea of something that you would like to see on a re-sign or if like you're in Missy's situation you have some favorite ribbon send me a picture good night Suzanne
Welcome from Texas. That's just enough to pull that color in there. Little added pop. challenge is going to be to take a picture of this and keep everything in its place. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to set it on the floor and take a good picture. Okay. Thanks for stopping this. One more. We're done. Like I said, my smaller cattails I ordered are in transit. So hopefully they will get here eventually. There we go. Thank you. The sign can be personalized for anyone interested. It says, welcome to the Langry pad. And again, I would put anyone's name on it for them. Thank you, Marsha. Yeah, there's just so many frog signs out there. I really wanted it to be different when I created it, so I'm really happy with that one. Um, just a few of the new signs. The 
nothing ever changed. There'd be no butterflies. Then we've got freedom, y'all. Y'all. And stars and stripes forever. And look for my new Noom coming out as soon as the supplies get here. Thank you. And we had some Yorkie moms wanting a male Yorkie instead of the little girl one. And this I just did for a customer. Her lots of past. So she wanted, she wanted to commemorate the death of the dog. So I added his name and the date he passed. So I had a frog, but uh, I just think the frog's going to make it look too. It's not going to, it just wasn't going to look right. I wanted it more pretty, not cheesy. That looked cheesy to me. So there we go. We're done. All the ribbon was from Sims. The mesh was from Sims. The sign is mine. So I think that's it. I think we're done. All right. I'm going to say good night and look for me on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. We do a child's craft. Um, so, not sure what we're going to do yet. I'll think of something. But we have a lot of children being homeschooled in the area and they need an arts craft, a craft um, to count towards their art class. So we've been trying to add a children's craft on Wednesdays. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great evening. Good night.